Travel Robot presents. Here is the list of top 10 things to do in Wisconsin. Wisconsin offers a wide variety of attractions and activities that are a delight for children and adults alike. If your idea of fun is exploring ancient cave systems, like Cave of the Mound, living the high life in an upscale part of town, like the historic Third Ward, or taking the kids on a literary adventure, like in Bookworm Gardens, you'll find it all in Wisconsin. Take a look at the 10 best things to do in Wisconsin. Whether you want adventure, illusion, luxury, or imagination, and plan your trip. Here is the list of 10 things to do in Wisconsin. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 10. Cave of the Mounds. The Cave of the Mounds is a stunning natural limestone cave near the Blue Mounds area of Wisconsin. Known for its speleothems, a type of mineral deposit, a tour of the Cave of the Mounds offers many spectacular natural formations in vibrant reds, blues, browns, and grays. Amongst its highlights are the lily pad formations, flowstones, helictites, and woolites, a rare speleothem that undergoes a similar formation process as a pearl. Soft drink straws, a type of thin, hollow tube formation, can also be seen on the tour. Number 9. Historic Third Ward. The historic Third Ward is a popular creative hub in Milwaukee that's home to many historic sites, upscale restaurants, art galleries, and studios. You can have dinner or drinks at one of the many world-class restaurants and bars, shop in indie boutiques, or see a show at local performing arts venues. The historic Third Ward is home to the Milwaukee Public Market and hosts outdoor concerts at the Henry Mayer Festival Park. Billed as the world's largest music festival, Summerfest is a must-attend event of concerts and performances on the shore of Lake Michigan. Trendy shops and dining abound in this revitalized warehouse district. Block after block of formerly industrial space is now home to galleries, restaurants, boutique shops, and stylish national retailers like West Elm, Anthropology, and Pendleton. The neighborhood is anchored on the north end by the Milwaukee Public Market and by the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design to the south. Along the lakefront is Henry Mayer Festival Park, where Milwaukee's lakefront comes alive every summer for festival after festival. Number 8. Taliesin Preservation The Taliesin Preservation is the home, studio, and estate of Frank Lloyd Wright. Located near Spring Green, the preservation includes Wright's home and buildings from every decade of his illustrious career. When you visit the Taliesin Preservation, you can take tours of the estate, home, and surrounding landscape to get a glimpse into the genius architect's life and work. Some of the highlights of the tour include the home's furnishings and Wright's personal objects, the garden room, and the studio. You'll also see the vast landscape grounds to appreciate the natural environment that inspired Wright. Number 7. Chudno Museum of Yesteryear The Chudno Museum of Yesteryear is a fascinating history museum that explores the personal collection of Americana of Abram Chudno. Housed within a historic building, the Chudno Museum of Yesteryear features intriguing exhibits of over 275,000 objects from the 1920s and 1930s. Many of the exhibits include restored examples of common places like a grocer, cinema, clinic, and speakeasy, all with period furnishings and decor. Another major attraction is a restored 1930 Chevy Universal Series ad, which features some of the most advanced features of its time. The Chudno Museum of Yesteryear, a non-profit organization, operates as a Milwaukee history museum in a historic building displaying the late Avram Chudno's 1913 to 2005, extensive and eclectic collection of early 20th century Americana. The museum contains various shops and exhibits from his collection from between the World Wars, chiefly the 1920s and 1930s era. Not only will local Milwaukeeans and visitors enjoy the unique and intimate nature of the collection, but local schools will be able to offer their students a curriculum-based and rewarding experience. Number 6. Bookworm Gardens Bookworm Gardens is an enchanting botanical garden with features and attractions based on beloved children's books. In the collection of over 70 gardens, you can see attractions like the Three Pigs Houses and Harold and the Purple Crayon. There are also creative spaces for children to explore their imagination and learn about wildlife and insects. Several events take place throughout the year, such as summer camps, 
weekend learning workshops, and all kinds of classes for children and adults. Hop aboard the magic school bus. Meet the three bears. Dig for dinosaur bones. Bookworm Gardens is a vibrant, playful botanic garden located in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and inspired by children's literature, the natural world, and the imagination. Start planning your visit today. Grow your family's story at Bookworm Gardens. Download our Bookworm book list, peruse classes and tours for adults, and learn more about field trips for student groups. Number 5. Harley-Davidson Museum The Harley-Davidson Museum in Milwaukee is an intriguing attraction for any history or motorcycle lover. The museum celebrates the century-old history of Harley-Davidson motorcycles with hundreds of motorcycles and artifacts from the company. Some of the highlights of the museum include the motorcycle gallery, which holds most of the motorcycle displays, the engine room, which has interactive exhibits of how motors work, and serial number one, the oldest known Harley-Davidson motorcycle in existence. You could also explore the tank gallery, which features some of the most memorable graphics on the gas tanks over the decades. Number 4. EAA Aviation Museum The EAA Aviation Museum is a must-see museum for fans of aircraft. Located in Oshkosh, the museum is home to a variety of warbirds, experimental aircraft, and aircraft memorabilia. You'll find over 200 aircraft in the facility, ranging from prominent military aircraft to home-built and stunt aircraft. Amongst its collection are a replica of the Spirit of Street Lewis, a Taylor Aero Car flying car, and a Pitcairn PCA2 Autogiro. You can book aircraft rides through EAA programs at the museum's airport or the adjoined Whitman Field. Number 3. Tristan Christ Magic Theater The Tristan Christ Magic Theater is a wonderful theater with shows featuring world-class magic and large illusions. Located in Lake Geneva, the Vegas-style theater offers classic, live magic shows with traditional tricks like levitation, card tricks, disappearing acts, and masterful illusions, such as making a motorcycle appear out of thin air. You'll also see some new tricks from master illusionist Tristan Christ. After an hour of magic, comedy, and theatrix, you'll experience a final trick that you must see to believe. Number 2. Green Bay Packer Hall of Fame The Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame is the Hall of Fame and museum dedicated to the history and success of the National Football League's Green Bay Packers. Once found in the Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena, the exhibits were eventually moved to the Lambeau Field Atrium. Within the hall, you can see exhibits such as plaques for the inductees, Lombardi trophies from the team's Super Bowl wins, and a recreation of legendary coach Vince Lombardi's office. Though the Hall of Fame is specific to the players, personnel, and history of the Packers, many of its inductees have also been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The new Packers Hall of Fame is open. The new 15,000 square foot, two-level Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame is conveniently located on the main floor of the Lambeau Field Atrium, across from 1919 Kitchen and Tap. A tribute to the greatest story in sports, the new facility uses the latest technology, enhanced interactive displays, and a treasure trove of artifacts to educate and inspire visitors about the rich history of the Packers, as well as the teams of today. Guests are able to see Packers legends describe historic games in their own words and can scroll through touch screens to click on audio segments and game video clips that tell the team's story. Number 1. Green Bay Botanical Garden The Green Bay Botanical Garden is a gorgeous botanical garden that spans many smaller garden spaces with unique themes. Amongst its gardens are Four Seasons Garden, a garden with winter flowers, lilacs, and magnolias and the Gertrude B. Nielsen Children's Garden, a kid-friendly garden with a treehouse, maze, and sundial. There's also the Donald J. Schneider Family Grand Garden, an overlooked garden with an amphitheater for outdoor concerts and events. In winter, the Green Bay Botanical Garden hosts the WPS Garden of Lights, which illuminates the garden with thousands of Christmas lights. If your idea of fun is exploring ancient cave systems, like Cave of the Mounds, living the high life in an upscale part of town, like the historic Third Ward, or taking the kids on a literary adventure, like in Bookworm Gardens, you'll find it all in Wisconsin. Take a look at the 10 best things to do in Wisconsin. That brings us to the end of this video.
If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.